What's going on, everybody? I am really excited this morning. I had some really good news. <laughs> I'm so excited for this. So I financed a trailer last year, um, the new tandem axle trailer, and I've been paying, you know, a little bit more than the minimum. And it was 0% uh, financing. Grass all over the lens. 0% <clears throat> financing. Um, I think my minimum payment was like 50 something dollars, but I kept paying hundred, two hundred dollars $200, something like that every month or two. Um, so I decided I wanted to go ahead and pay it off. The last receipt I got for it, it was showing a balance due of 960 something dollars. And I was like, okay, I can probably go ahead and just pay that off. I went to the bank this morning, withdrew some money and went to pay it off. Here's where it gets interesting. So the lady comes back and she hands me $510 and a receipt saying that it's paid for. So trailer's paid for. And of course, uh, they're going to be mailing me a title for the trailer. Uh, I called up there. They said that they were going to go ahead and do that. The thing is, the the store that I used to go to had moved to a different part of town. And the store that I'd been paying since the other one moved... They're separate contractors. So I've been paying at this other store. The other one's got my title, um, but it's all paid for. It's all in the system that it's paid for. Called called up there and she said that she's going to be mailing me a title. So trailer's paid off. I think I owe about $1,500 on the mower. So that'll be the next thing. Hopefully within the next couple of months, I'll go ahead and get it paid off. And then who knows? Maybe a new purchase. I don't know. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. Uh, we just got to this one. <clears throat> There's that trailer, by the way. It is paid for. It is mine. Oh, well, you got a letter. Oh. Okay. We're going to clean some gutters out. I'm excited. I always love doing gutters, uh, especially by myself. So we're gonna get started. Uh, we have some rain in the forecast today and I'm gonna try and get, this is already paid for, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it and cut the yard. So we're gonna go ahead and knock that out. Maybe some footage, I don't know. My GoPro battery was kinda, I had like 30 something percent left. I'll get what I can. It's gonna do it. Gutters are blown out. Uh, this side over here was this roof. It's not too steep, but it's pretty steep. So as you can see on that side of the roof, uh, it's really slippery right there from the tree. I got a little scared and I got down on my booty and I scooted down through there to clean it out. But we've got it cleaned out, blown out. Everything's good. 
So we're going to get down on the ground, blow everything into the yard, and chop it up. Chop it up. Now, here's the fun part, is getting down. I'm not really afraid of heights. I want to go skydiving. That's still one thing I want to do. <clears throat> but just not having anybody to hold that ladder, it's kind of sketchy, but... It's not too far of a fall. I'd probably survive that. It might take a day or two off. But. We're going to jump down here and uh, get this cleaned up. I ain't, ain't going to waste any more time. And uh, GoPro's about to die. So I'll charge it on the way to the next yard. All right, guys. What is going on? It is starting to rain. I don't know if you can see it there on the uh, window. So it is starting to rain. Luckily, I just finished up both of these yards uh they together total one acre and they're done so um about to head to my next yard just to show up and we'll see if it's still sprinkling like this and we'll go ahead and cut it uh it's a big hill i have to weed eat the whole yard uh, i have taken my mower down to the bottom and cut but it's just so sketchy and especially since it's raining i'm not even gonna mess with it but it's a small yard uh, it takes about 30 minutes 40 minutes to weed eat everything out and blow it off and be done but <clears throat> i did want to talk about getting that weight off my shoulder the trailer it was, it was not much you know it was just another bill to pay um but that's something i wanted to do was go ahead and get it paid off not have to worry about it anymore she's paid for she's mine and it was zero percent interest uh, for i think 24 months on it so 24 months same as cash it, something like that so i just went ahead and paid it off um, and that's that's what i like to do if financing is an option uh, if zero percent is an option i will go that route especially with a mower because i can't just drop 10 grand on a mower that's uh, i don't save money that well <laughs> but being able to put a good chunk down and getting your payments a little lower to where you know during the winter time um, it's not such a big payment to have to pay i think mine was like a hundred and my mower payment's 134 dollars i put like 3500 down on it so that $134 during the winter time is, you know, okay, good. It's not a $300 payment. So <clears throat> I was happy about that. One thing I did want to talk about is financing versus buying stuff outright. So um, like if it's a trimmer, you're not going to finance a trimmer. Uh, you're going to buy a trimmer. If it's a mower, that's a different story. Um, not everybody can go out and put down ten thousand dollars for a, a new lawn mower uh, i definitely can't i can't afford to go buy if i had to go buy a new mower right now i'd have to finance it i'd have a little money to put down of course because i do not want those high payments but i could not go drop 10 grand on a brand new mower so financing is my option now most places offer 0% for 48 months. That's four years. If you can't pay off $10,000 in four years cutting grass, you're probably in the wrong business. <laughs> it's I've had that for two years, and I owe... And I've only made... Like, the payments I've made on it have been like three, dollars $400 a month. Uh, except for those winter months when I'm scraping pennies. So I pay the minimum during the winter months uh, out of season. But during season, I like to pay three, four, five hundred dollars um, you know, to go ahead and just start knocking it down. I don't want to worry about getting to that last little bit and not being able to pay it, you know. So that's something I like to do is... <clears throat> And also paying stuff off early. If you're not going to catch a penalty or anything like that, um, then pay it off early. Why not? Go ahead and lift that burden. Um, <clears throat> that allows you to open up, you know, an extra 20 or 200 or 300 or however much it is a month 
can go towards something else for your business. Um, if you want to buy another mower, if you want to buy another trailer, if if you've got something that your eyes are set on, or set that money aside, you know, save it for winter. I know in our area, you're mowing eight months out of the year, maybe nine if you're lucky, and it all depends on the weather. Um, <clears throat> but mowing season is eight to nine months out of the year. So it's like March to end of November. That's pretty much what we get. And then of course, if leaf cleanups keep on going, keep on going, and that's a whole nother story. I like to ramble. <laughs> I like to ramble. Back to financing versus paying for something in full. If you can get it for 0%, definitely finance. Uh, it just makes sense. If you're good with your money, make those payments, build your credit. I mean, it's simple. It is really simple. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and mosey on over to my next yard and we'll see how the weather is, if it picks up raining, because I think we had 60% chance at uh, three o'clock and it's two o'clock right now. So I'm gonna go on over there and I guess we'll see what the weather's gonna do. If I can knock it out, I'll knock it out and that'll be another one off my list. Um, Hopefully I can get it done. But I think that'll probably be the last yard of the day. So, I will catch y'all here in a little while. I don't know if you can tell how steep that is from the camera, but uh, it is steep. If anybody says you can put a push mower on it, I'll pay you a thousand dollars cash. Bring your push mower over here, cut this hill. Probably not a thousand dollars, but it is a uh, quite the hill. And this all used to be grown up, there's probably a hundred. Of those little stumps and then probably 20 of these stumps we came out here and did a little transformation on it we used to only cut up under the porch and then up the both sides of the house the front's got landscaping in it but this was a fun job and uh, this hill is it can be dangerous I've slipped and fell on it several times, but it's fun. So, I thought I'd get you a little bit of trimming footage. I did decide to cut this yard today. Uh, I'm probably going to barely beat the rain, so I'm going to go ahead and keep on going. I've already done the one side. Come around the back, I do the back, and then I zip up through to the front again. So, I'm going to knock it out. 
chat with y'all in a few. Well, guys, the rain gods have decided to call it a day for me. It is coming down, thunder and lightning. I should have known better than to pull up to a one acre property and start cutting as it starts sprinkling, knowing the weather was coming. I got about half of it done, but it's my father-in-law and he's cool. So <laughs> uh, I am gonna finish this yard probably Saturday. We're, uh, we're having a cookout for Mother's Day. Um, and just to remind all y'all, this, this upcoming Sunday is Mother's Day. So, go love your mothers, mother lovers. I just crack myself up sometimes. But we're going to get out of here. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. I'm going to go home try and get this up kind of early for y'all. If y'all haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Shoot me a thumbs up, and we will catch you in the next one. Perfect.